Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Blog. And in this video, I want to show you how you can move text from text in VSCC Free Video Editor. So today's tutorial is really exciting because today I am actually trying something new. So let's hope everything works out fine. So without further delay, let's get started. Now the first thing which we will do is we will write some text on top of our screen. And so to do that, go to add object, go to text, click on text and then click on OK. Now mark your text object on top of the screen like this. And let me just write some text inside the text box. So let me just write, let's say, buy my car. And let me just resize my text box so that it fits my text properly. Perfect. I would also like to change the text color. So currently the text color is white. So let me just go to text color right here. And let me just select this particular color orange. Perfect. Now the next thing which I would like to do is I would like to place this text outside the screen and I would like to bring it on screen in a different manner. So first of all, let's just zoom out our screen like this. And let me just place the text outside the screen right here. Perfect. Now, before I move any further, let me just decrease the duration of the text object. So currently the duration of the text object is 10 seconds. So let me just decrease the duration from 10 seconds to 6 seconds. And let me just create a duplicate of this text object. So click on this text object, press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to paste it. Perfect. Now for the time being, let me just turn off the visibility of the text object which is present at the top. So right here you will find this eye icon. So you simply click on that to turn off the visibility. All right. Okay. Now the next thing which we will do is double click on the text object, which is below. And I would use the movement object to move my text from this particular position to the center of the screen. And so to do that, go to add object, go to movement, click on movement and then click on OK. Now move the text to the center of the screen like this. Perfect. So if I just quickly play the video for you. Right here is my text moving to the center of the screen. But it is actually taking a lot of time. And so to be exact, it is taking six seconds. So I would like to, you know, increase the speed of my text movement. And so to do that, you will find this end point of the movement object present at six seconds. So place this end point at one second, 500 millisecond. Perfect. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you. Perfect. All right. Now I would also like to rotate my text as it is moving from this position to the center of the screen. And so to do that, we will add the rotate effect. So go to video effects, go to transforms, select rotate and then click on OK. Now decrease the duration of the rotate effect from six seconds to one second, 500 millisecond. So decrease the duration of the rotate effect to one second, 500 millisecond. And now look inside the rotate settings, which is present inside the properties window. And right here, you will find this rotate angles option where currently 30 degrees is selected. So first of all, change this from constant parameter value to linear parameter change so that we have two values 30 semicolon 30. And now change the values from 30 semicolon 30 to zero semicolon 360 degrees. Perfect. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you. Perfect. All right. Let's go back to the main editing timeline. And now it's time to 
turn on the visibility of the text object which is present at the top so let me just click on this eye icon once again all right now what i would like to do is i would like to place this second text right on top of the first text right here perfect and i would like to place this second text object at 1 second 500 millisecond in the timeline so currently this second text object is starting at 0 seconds so let me just place it at 1 second 500 millisecond let me just write 0 1.500 inside the time option all right and let me also decrease the duration of this second text object from 4 second 500 millisecond to to 1 second 500 millisecond perfect so if i just quickly play the video for you from the start this is my first text all right and now double click on this second text object and now what we will do is we will move this particular text from the first text so if you remember i place this text on top of the first text and so what we will do now is we will use the movement object to move this second text a little towards the top right hand side so let me just go to add object go to movement click on movement and then click on ok now move this text a little to the top right hand side like this perfect and now what we will do is we will we will add a fade out effect so go to video effects go to transparency select fade out and then click on ok perfect so let me just play this entire thing for you from the start so this is what is happening on screen let me just zoom in my screen so this is what is happening perfect my text kind of moves and rotates perfect and the second text kind of moves and then fades out one final thing which i would like to do is add a sound effect so double click on the first text object which is below and i've downloaded a sound effect from the youtube audio library so place the cursor at 1 second 500 millisecond and go to add object select audio and um, let me just select this particular sound effect which i downloaded from the youtube audio library and let me just click on open and then click on ok just a second perfect and let me also increase the audio volume of this sound effect so let me just increase the audio volume from this particular option audio volume option so now if i just quickly play this entire thing for you let's just zoom in and let me just place the cursor at the beginning all right so this is what is happening here comes my text so as you can see guys this is how you can move text from text in vscc free video editor 
this was something new something experimental which i was kind of working on and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see in the next video till then thanks for watching